morning everyone uh so we're on to day two of our minute bible verses today we're going to be in first peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 so verse 8 says be alert and of sober mind your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour it is easy to forget as a christian that there's constantly someone after us and that is the devil he hates jesus he hates God and how he tries to attack them because he can't attack them directly is coming after us because we're the vulnerable ones. We're the ones that can be tempted and swayed. So I think that is a large part of the society we're seeing are those that the devil is constantly attacking. And we need to be vigilant in that because the devil probably honestly knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows what's going to tempt us. He knows the darkest places of our minds. He knows what we need to be turned, and he will constantly attack that, as I'm sure many of you have realized or have known. But don't lose heart, because how we combat this is just in the next verse. Verse 9 says, resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. Resist him. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. Whenever you are tempted, don't try to fight that battle yourself. You're not meant to fight it yourself. Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Bible and read. If you stand firm in your faith and actively resist him, that's how you combat the devil's temptations. Everything that you need to combat that is in the Lord. Um, what I always think of the standing firm in the faith, I always think of the Captain America quote, the when everybody and the world is telling you to move, it's your job to plant yourself like roots of a tree and say, no, you move. I think that's what we're really being told here, is when everything else in the world, including the devil, is trying to push us against the Lord, it is up to us to plant ourselves in our faith and say, no, you move. And I think one thing, the second part of this verse of 9 says, because you know the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. In today's world, we have access to all this information. We have all these resources. There are other Christians who are going through and have gone through what you're going through. We are all one family, brothers and sisters in Christ, and you have more resources out there than you know you do. Just take this to who, whatever Christians you feel comfortable taking it to, the sin you're struggling with. And I promise you, you will find someone who is struggling with the same thing. Um, it, it's on us to not only band together under God, but to take care of each other. You know, that that's one of the main parts of the Bible is looking after each other. Fathers looking after their families, church leaders looking after their churches. And I think that the beginning of this, where, the, you know, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, we should be so offended by this. How dare the devil tell a 13-year-old kid that they don't belong on this earth? How dare the devil tell these kids that they have no purpose in this world? It's just horrible, and it, it should fire you up. You should be angry that the devil is making people think that they don't have anybody in this world. And I, I think this verse really lines it out. We need to resist him, stand firm in our faith, and as a family of believers, work together and keep each other on the path of righteousness. So, that's all I got today. Thank you.